Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidero Astrology forecast for Monday, April 20th, 2020. All right, so today we are finishing up the current lunar month. We're going to have a new moon on Wednesday and Thursday. So really good time of finalizing things, completing things, and creating a bit of space for those new beginnings around the corner. So this is double emphasized because the moon is in receptive Pisces where we had this whole lunar month. And so really good to get in touch with the more <clears throat> intuitive, accepting, receptive side of ourself, really listen to what's important to us on a soul level. And again, really good for spiritual activities as we do finalize and release this previous lunar month. And the sun will be slowly shifting into Aries. The new moon around the corner will be in more initiating Aries. So really good to uh, maybe start to notice and acclimate to a bit of the new energy, although it will probably take some time for that fiery side to come through later this week. So going into tomorrow, we do have the sun squaring up to Saturn. So there could be maybe some things we're seeing the reality of and some things that we can challenge ourselves to incorporate with patience and discipline. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Monday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. It does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So if you are new, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, so let's take a look here at the moon's placement. As you can see here, the moon is going to be approaching the sun where we'll have a new moon around that Wednesday and Thursday time period. By that time, the sun will be shifting further out of Pisces and in more active and initiating Aries suggesting that the next lunar month around the corner will be more about fire, taking initiative, action, and asserting our own personal needs. So before that though, we do have to close out this current lunar cycle, which was and still is very much about greater receptivity of Pisces. So a great uh, part of the week as we approach the new moon <clears throat> to see how we can really listen to what's important to us on a soul level. If there has been anything from the previous cycle that has been about what's important on a soul level or involving some ideal or just simply finding more peace in your life, this is a uh, completion of that. So good to finalize some things, complete things as we do approach that Wednesday, Thursday time period. And we may start to notice just very, very subtly as we get closer to that new moon that the sun is slowly getting closer to active Aries. So our focus may shift from those of, um, again, having more acceptance into that of taking initiative with Aries. So today going into tomorrow, we do have the sun squaring up to Saturn. And so this is a good um, time period to challenge ourselves in regards to anything that we know will take time or discipline, right? The sun represents our vital life force. Saturn represents the things that take time. And in squares, it's really good to integrate. So as the day unfolds, probably in the later part of the day, but especially going into tomorrow, if there is any types of limitations or things you're just seeing the real cold, hard reality of, or things that you feel like you wanna put in some discipline into or responsibility into, could be a really good part of the week to do that. Um, as we get into tomorrow, how can we take time with things, see the reality of things, not too, much into the reality where it becomes dense or heavy, but just enough so that we can work on it, right? Saturn is about doing the work. It is about incorporating some discipline, some responsibility, and some patience. And in this way, it becomes very constructive, and this could be actually a very productive week for some of us, and anything that, again, does require time with Saturn. All right, so that's definitely the most important thing going on here today. Um, the moon will be passing over Chiron. So again, as we are ending this current phase or this current um, uh, lunar cycle, it is good for more spiritual finding of peace. And with Chiron, it could be quite healing today. If there is anything today like a spiritual activity or just getting some some rest or some acceptance, there could be a new beginning in a monthly sense with the healed and rejuvenated side of ourself that especially comes with a bit more acceptance and peace in our life. All right, everyone, so that's the day in a nutshell. Going into tomorrow, a bit of this good earth energy to work with, with Saturn, patience, responsibility, building things for the long term. 
but we are closing out the current lunar cycle, so good to complete things, especially if they were part of the previous lunar cycle regarding ideals or finding more peace in our life. But all in all today, great day for that. How can we find that acceptance within ourselves? Listen to what's important to us on a soul level and maybe slowly notice a bit of a shift from focus of that into more of the initiating and active side of ourself, which we'll have a new beginning with around Wednesday and Thursday. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for the next daily video. Take care.